caregiving is my being. And it's sacrifice, a lot of sacrifice. My favorite memory is watching them graduate. Kinship care is as old as humankind, and in many ways it's our original and our most traditional child welfare system. In every country of the world, in every era, grandparents, aunts and uncles have stepped up to care for children when their parents couldn't. But these children have become more important to them than their parental children. We've had up to nine grandchildren living with us under our care and financial responsibility. This has been what we call a native longhouse. I'm the legal and cultural grandmother. I'm a Native American grandmother. That's like I got my doctorate four times over. Now, if you want to challenge me on that, the decisions I make with this child, I am capable of making. Most people look at me and think, how do I balance my caregiving roles? And uh, I really can't even say it, I just do it. <laughs> I don't know where the nature of the caregiving came from because I was always taking care of somebody, whether it was friends or uh, giving somebody a place to stay. It's just always been there, I don't know. I don't know where it would come from. Being a foster parent for 22 years is a long time. I know one of my main um, reasons for being here is to help others. And so it means a great deal to me to be able to help somebody because my prayer um, to God is help me to be better today than I was yesterday. My name is Gloria E. Woods, and I'm a great-grandmother, a grandmother, and a mother. My name is Wendy Nocar. I'm a caregiver, a grandmother, a mother, and a daughter. My name is Cynthia Fountain, and I'm a caregiver. My name is Jeffrey Fountain, and I'm a caregiver. Every child is different, everyone. You say, who do you love the most? What's the most? You love them all. You love them different because they're different. They're all unique. The things that I'm proud of uh, involves my being a foster parent. Being a foster parent for 22 years is a long time. The two children that I've had mostly is kin kinship our children and kin care. They were family members, but I have a heart for the children. So now that I have my great grandson, um, I'm going to also have my home recertified to be a respite. They may be a mother or father that have gone to the hospital or someone who wants to take a vacation, which is, has been difficult for me to do. So I know what it is to try to get a respite, to get away. What it means to be a caregiver, um, it's a lot of hard work. It's, it's tiring, it's, uh, but it's not something that I wouldn't do. Wow. Can you tell me to give me it? The hardest thing about caregiving is just the exhaustion. You, you, you become exhausted and, and you don't have um, much of a life for yourself. So you have to find time to, to uh, take care of yourself.
you know, which is not an easy thing to do when you have so many people you're taking care of. I take care of my granddaughter, who I've adopted, who is now my daughter. I take care of my mother. There's other people in my life I would say that I take care of, such as uh, my boarder right now, and different friends that in need. I'm always there for people. And um, I take care of many children, different children at different times. I'm a licensed daycare provider in New York State. Kinship care is the responsibility of accountability outside of yourself. Everybody wakes up and they know they've got to get up, get dressed, and whatever. But caregiver is to meet an obligation to help something, someone, something other than yourself. The word kinship comes, comes in there, which means there is a relationship to start. So it may, may be a brother or a cousin or a sister, some sort of a relative, a little closer than just the outside world. So that's where our kinship care came in with our family. We were taking on the role of parents for our grandchildren. The face of kinship care is sublime. It is a combination of wisdom and compassion it is an exemplification of the best of the human nature.